But now a Mr. Clarence Rimbro faced them, perspiring slightly and toweringly angry at the fact that it had taken him the better part of two days to reach this far into the Bureau. He reached his exposition's climax by saying, And I think the planet is inhabited, and I don't propose to stand for it. Having listened to his story in full, Ching tried the soothing approach. He said, Noise like that is probably just some natural phenomenon. What kind of natural phenomenon? demanded Rimro. I want an investigation. If it's a natural phenomenon, I want to know what kind. I say the place is inhabited. It has life on it, by heaven. And I'm not paying rent on a planet to share it. And with dinosaurs from the sound of it. Come, Mr. Rimbro.